performing a torque transducer shunt calibration with the Himmelstein 700 plus single conditioning instrument. First make sure that you have the torque transducer connected to the appropriate input channel on the rear of the instrument. In this case we have a Himmelstein millivolt per volt output strain gauge torque transducer connected to channel one of the input on the rear of the instrument. Then press the menu key. Use the right arrow to scroll over until the display reads channel calibration. Press the down arrow and it indicates now that it would be channel 1 calibration, which is the first input card on the instrument. If that's the correct channel, hit the down arrow again. <clears throat> and now it will ask you what type of calibration you wish to perform. We give you the option to select from four different types of calibrations. The options can be selected by pressing the enter key. The available options will now flash and by using the right and left arrow keys we can scroll through the available options. For doing a shunt calibration with this unit we want to select shunt positive and negative both directions. When you highlighted and made the selection and displaying the correct calibration that you want to perform just press the enter key again. It will stop flashing and now hitting the right arrow will take you to the next step of this setup. The first question it asks you is what is the full scale value of the transducer in the engineering units that you want the data to be displayed in. By pressing the enter key that allows us to change the display for the full scale value. There is a small cursor underneath the number and that number is flashing and that's the number that you can change. The right and left arrows move the cursor to the appropriate location. The up and down arrows will change the value of the number. In this particular case this transducer has a full scale of 25 pound inches. So we'll change this display to read 25.000. So the first digit with the up arrow we change to a 2. We scroll to the next digit move the cursor to the next digit and the up arrow until it reads 5. Now we need to move the decimal point so we move the cursor to the decimal point select the decimal point and with the down arrow can move the decimal point to the left to the appropriate location. When we've got it reading the correct value we press the enter key again it stops flashing and now we can move to the next step. Next it asks you for the plus shunt calibration value. This is the shunt calibration value that's provided on the calibration certificate that was shipped with the torque transducer. It's shown on page two for the calibration certificate and is identified as the equivalent shunt calibration value and it shows you for the clockwise and the counterclockwise directions the positive and the negative. So in this case the positive equivalent shunt calibration value is 12.53. So just like we changed the display in the reading for the full scale value, again we hit the enter key and now we want this to display 12.53. So we move the cursor to the appropriate position, scroll down until that display reads a 2, decimal points in the right place, now we want this to be 5, 3. When that's entered correctly, hit the enter key again. The display locks in and now you can move to the next step. And in this case now it's going to ask you for the negative or the counterclockwise shunt calibration value, which in this case is the same as the positive on the cal cert, so we don't need to make any changes to this value and we can move to the next step again with the right arrow. And now we have all the data entered to perform the calibration. You just press the enter key 
the instrument prompts you to confirm that there is no load on the transducer and that the transducer is at zero. And if that is the case, you hit the enter key again. And now the instrument will proceed through the calibration automatically. First, adjusting the zero. And then it will go to adjust both the positive gain or the plus calibration and then the negative side and make the negative adjustments. When it's done, it prompt tells you that it's done and prompts you to confirm with the OK question mark, press the enter key, and the calibration is complete. To remove to return to the main screen, push the menu key, and it will take you to the main display screen with the display now showing the, the transducer reading at zero since there is no load on the transducer. You can perform a shunt cal check with the, by pressing the enter key and then the up arrow to check the plus shunt cal and it displays 12.53. Similarly on the negative cal, enter key, down arrow displays negative 12.53 and that confirms that the, the transducer and the instrument have been adjusted for the correct shunt cal readings.